Okay, what I want to um, show you today is uh, uh, probably a, a little used part of the uh, drainage, network drainage editor. Uh, it's to do with the import and export. And uh, what, uh, what we found is that, that uh, you can actually use this as maybe an alternative to uh, a plot parameter file or something like that for reporting the output data. And it's also good for transferring information or getting information from other packages and bringing it in and um, populating some of your drainage network rather than having to go through manually and type into all the fields. So in this particular case, and this may not apply to you, but it just happens to be the way we do things in, in our Canberra office, we build our network in, in a CAD package first, and uh, part of that building process is that, that it will number the network, and so what we do is when we uh, create from strings in, in uh, 12D, we um, choose the model and then an output model and run that and then add that back into the view. We get a totally unnumbered uh, network. Now in the drainage network editor, Network editor. We can now go to this import export area, and the first thing it says, of course, you've got to have a tin, or otherwise, you can't talk to it. Now we go to the import export, and of course, the panel's on the wrong screen, just let me bring that over for you. Okay, what you see here is there's the export area, the import area. And um, if you're just starting out the first time you're using this stuff, um, the best way to actually find out about all the data that's actually stored and available for export is to uh, use the all data option here. And it will create a file called output.list.txt, apart from outputting all the data to a file, um, in this particular case in the clipboard, it will create this output list file and this file contains the names of all the fields and all the data that's available for you for exporting to uh, other applications. So I'll just show you what that file looks like. <coughs> and the best way of, uh, of producing your own custom output file is to open this file and save it back to something else and just keep the fields you want, delete all the others. So we'll just uh, find that file then. So in this user-defined custom file list, there's a few little things that you can do. We can put in header lines, depending on where you're exporting the data to. We can add blank columns in case there's some, some fields that you want to add to later. Um, and then you need to define whether the data you're using is pipe data, in other words, part of the link, or whether it's PIP data, which is your node data. And the other thing you can do is use a factor, which is uh, a, like a multiplier or, or what have you, so that it will um, change the value of the following variable. So for instance, if you export in pipe diameters and it comes out in metres, which is what 12D stores the information, 
and you want the output to be in millimetres, then you put factor 1000 and then followed by the pipe diameter. Now, it talks here about the, um, if you export with the, with the uh, file name, it will create the, the file output list.txt, and so this is a reasonable sort of thing, and here's a little sample of exactly how a file would look. So it's quite, quite sort of straightforward and the, and the help covers it fairly well. So what we'll do here is we'll go to a customised file and let's have a look at one. Um, we've got one here in our user lib called PC pit ID out. And we'll just run that. It's the same bad pit name, that's because I haven't got any, so that's fair enough. And we'll just go to the text editor, which I seem to have lost. And we'll now just paste into there. And what you can see here is the output from that file. Now what I should do is I'll go back now and show you the, the definition so you can see how that data got to that particular file. Okay, let's have a look at this particular file here. And it's very simple. Except it's on the wrong screen again. It simply says Basically, works by um, reading directly from the 
from the uh, clipboard. So if we go to our file and go select all and copy to the clipboard and then we go back to 12D. And if we go run, that data is simply read into the drainage network. And you can't see it at the moment. Um, there's a little error. It says I've got a non-unique name to say there's a lot of pits called blank. If we just uh, refresh that view, you'll see that the entire network has been numbered automatically, uh, which is quite a time saver. <coughs> so now I'll just um, finish the drainage network editor. If we zoom in there, you can see that all of the bits have been numbered, and we've got these funny ones here. Blank, what happens is that, that that's actually just a tangent point on a, on a straight and curved pipe. And so there is no data over in the CAN package to actually bring back. So it just, uh, instead of error, it will actually create a code called blank. And that's an actual good prompt to, in 12D to go and actually remove that manhole from that, uh, that link so that it becomes a single link between these two manholes. So that's not a bad thing and that uh, uh, helps with the sort of error tracking. Now the other sort of thing we can do is you can look, export it to say a spreadsheet that one can be in and there's a huge amount of data available as you saw with the number of fields. So if I just go to the other uh, that I've got running, this in fact is a, a stormwater network that's been fully analysed and the, the, the analysis complete and now we want to review the results for instance. So I'll fire up Excel which will go to the wrong screen, I'll just move it over. And I will open a pre-formatted spreadsheet which was created by young Josh from our Canberra office who's floating around here somewhere. And as you can see this is a live demonstration, it's looking for the printers back at work. What Josh has created here is a, a spreadsheet that uses a lot of um, uh, conditional formatting. And so that starts looking through the data for <coughs> things like grades in excess of a scour stop requirement or, or um, <coughs> looks for surcharges that indicate that the network's failing, all that sort of thing. He's put a great deal of effort into uh, creating all this conditional formatting. And what we've been able to do is um, format this so that it's, it's the sort of format for data that, that a designer is used to looking for to review the results. Now 12D has quite a, uh, a lot of this in, in plot brackets and so on, but, but you can't sort of use the conditional formatting uh, power of the spreadsheet in that uh, plot parameter output. So we find this quite useful for our design review. So what we do is we go back to 12D, once again, it's a drainage network editor. Where's the drainage thing? We're on the screen again. We go to the network editor. We'll select the uh, network. And this time we go to import export. It probably won't complain because there are tins available. We're going to export again. Same thing, we want a customised file. This time we're going to use this one here BC DNE minor. We'll do the minor minor storm event. So I'll pick that and I'll just show you what that one looks like. On the other screen again. Okay, this one's far more complex and quite a few more fields and as you can see that it's used, it's another um, modifier that I didn't mention previously, decimal, so you can format the output. Um, there's a whole heap of pit data by Zara and so on that goes through. Uh, he's used factor a thousand there for uh, various things. Um, 12D outputs the flows in QMIX, whereas we'd like to look at it in litres per second, so there's a, the use of the factor multiplier there. And this one goes on and on and on, it's quite um, uh, extensive. So if we just run that, the output of that, this particular uh, export will be put onto the clipboard. It takes a little longer because there's a fair bit of data. There we go. And if we pop over to the pre-formatted spreadsheet and we'll just go to the appropriate fields, and there's a few of them, and paste that in. And the 
first one is the header, which we can get rid of. Delete. Okay, and now we have all the data in our pre-formatted uh, spreadsheet with all the range checking and all the different fittings and so on. So we find that's a really powerful review tool um, for our spreadsheets, uh, for our drones network. So that's just a couple of, of, of examples of, of what you can do with the import export. Uh, I think really it's up to your imagination. It's a fairly powerful tool, it's fairly easy to use and it's one of the things that the, that the, um, the help has actually kept up with what's up available in 12T. These guys go 